Hey friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Happy, what is today? Happy Thursday. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you guys lose track of the days too? I, the reason I remember it is Thursday, yesterday was trash day. Yeah. <laughs> My days just go by so darn fast. They really do. So um, anyways, guys, we're going to do some of our May craft kit. We have our cute little ladybug kit. And we're going to do another globe. And then when we do the next part of this, we'll do a new basket. So I can show you how to do that. Some of you guys are new. And so the basket can be a little bit tricky putting it together. So I like to do those base parts now and again. Those parts don't come with the kit, okay? So um, because they came with the very first one and you don't need a new basket each time and you don't need a new globe each time. Oops, let me turn down my... <laughs> my volume on my phone. How is everybody? Happy Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to double check that. Yeah, Thursday. <laughs> May 2nd. Yay. Did you guys get your orders in? Who who got their order placed yesterday? There are so many cute things. Let me make sure I'm live. There I am. I should be on um, YouTube also. I should be. So um, just say hello if you're watching. Let me just share this to VIP. How is everybody? Oh my goodness. Let's see. Share to VIP crew. Come on. There you are. Um, what did you guys do yesterday besides place your order? <laughs> I know some of you guys did. I did. So, um, yeah, it was kind of, we, I was hurrying and, you know, I hope the orders get processed quickly, but when you have a launch like that, everybody was so excited for patriotic stuff. Um, because, you know, it's a big holiday for most people. Even, you know, Canada Day or 4th of July, it's a big holiday. So being able to get specific transfers that are for those holidays, oh my gosh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna scramble and lots of people purchased yesterday. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to do, we're going to do our cute little ladybug in the globe. We're going to do our little word stacker that says cute as a bug. And then our little um, ladybug that is standing that holds a flower. So just say hello if you're watching. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay. I need to adjust my camera next time. I ha I have my larger iPad over there, and it's not it's not not um, situated the way it should be. All right, hello, hi Cheryl, how are you? Hi Lynn, good morning, Laura. Happy Thursday. Hi Sarah, how are you? Hi hi Deborah. Hello Stephanie. Good morning. Stacy, you got your order placed, Stephanie. Yay! And Sarah got hers too. Yay. Um, hi, Carol. How are you? And Deborah says, excited to use your May Club transfer. That's awesome. Um, hope it comes very soon for you. Usually ships by the 5th, anyway, from the 5th to the 10th. It's hard to know. It really is hard to know. So, hi, Jeanette. Good morning. Hi, Peggy. You do Memorial Day. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, so Memorial Day too. Hi, Carrie. Good morning. Hi, Doris, my sister, whose birthday is 4th of July. So that's one of the reasons why I decorate a lot for 4th of July. So I'm just going to keep watching as people hop on. And we'll go ahead and we'll get started on these cute little projects. Okay, hang on. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, you would love to see puppy pictures. Okay. So I did take some pictures yesterday when I was weighing them. Um, so they have, um, they gained, I, I decided I probably should weigh them every day. I was, I was weighing them every other day, but they are gaining a lot. They gained a, they gained half an ounce in a day, which is, which is a lot for small puppies like that. So, um, they're looking so cute. The little, they look like little cows. Most of them. Let me see what I have. Let me see what I have on my phone here. Okay, so this is our little ladybug stander holding a holding a flower, and then cute as a bug word stacker, and then this is our um, goes in our little globe here. Memorial Day to Veterans Day, is, yeah, yes, red, white, and blue. That's awesome. Stephanie says we'll start changing the spring decor over to Americana. That's awesome. Very cool. Love that. Okay, let me see what puppy pictures I have on here. If I have, if any anything has uploaded since yesterday. Sometimes it syncs and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, there, there we go. So, um, 
<laughs> yeah, I have individual ones. Let me see what I can let me see what I can show you some of the cute ones. Here's this one is the this one is the chubbiest. He is um he is the, the green one. Isn't it so cute? Looks like a little moo cow. They do look like cows. Let me see if I can just show you all the babies. I don't have them all together on here. I have individual pictures and they were just moving all over the place. They're on the table next to the scale. And then this is this is red one. So so red one is red one currently is like right in the middle as far as weight. And then um, let me see here. Let me see what else I have. Yeah, aren't they so cute? I have all of my pictures didn't upload. Here's yellow one, but she's in the little basket that I that I weigh her in. Yellow one's the tiniest one right now. Yellow one's the one I'm more worried about. Make sure that every time I go past her, I make sure she's latched onto mama. So I walk past probably every half an hour to an hour, I walk past the little playpen. And then where is light green? Where are you light green? Oh, here's light green. So, so I weigh them on a little tiny scale. And so this is like, a, this is a Tupperware container, <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I have them in a Tupperware container with the wash rag. Um, and aren't they just so cute? They look, they look very similar. So, so this one here, he's, he's the biggest, he's the chunkiest. He weighs 8.85 ounces. So, so just half a pound. Yep. <laughs> They're just so fun. They're so fun. I know they're so tiny. They're very tiny. So most of them weigh um, between like six six ounces and eight ounces. Um, they're all boys. Every one of them is boys. So none of the girls. There was only one girl, and she didn't survive. Um, she was born um, stillborn. So I know. Aren't they just so cute? <laughs> all right. Now we gotta paint. Okay, so we're going to do these little projects. I think we're going to do three. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should only do two. But because I'm doing the... We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. The thing is, they're, they're all like similar colors. So it's easy to just do all of them. I know. I just love them. They're just the sweetest. My struggle is getting Mama to drink water. She won't. So she's drinking broth. She's drinking bone broth. Which bone broth is probably better for her and or low sodium um, chicken broth. So yeah, she she's not wanting to, ooh, I need some new tape. Let's take a second and let's put some new tape. This tape, this tape has had it. So let me just show you guys. If you have questions, you're confused too because she said her, I didn't mean her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's no hers, sorry. I probably did say, I probably did say her. But yeah, they're all boys. Sorry. <laughs> I wish I wish there was little girls there. I kept checking them going, maybe they're not. Maybe, maybe there's a girl there. And so there was one girl that passed away that split. I did CPR on for over 10 minutes just trying to get trying to get a heartbeat, but there was nothing. And then the one, the other one that was still born was not formed all the way. The bottom half of it's body was just like a conglomeration of cells <coughs> that were just like all all molded together so the bottom half of its body did not did not um form so we couldn't tell if that one was a boy or girl the top you could tell the little head but um yeah that one it was sad <coughs> Oh my goodness. All right. I do have water here. I might need a drink of water. Okay, so we're putting new tape on because our tape is very old. Drinking some water. Confusion or pronouns is typical in California. Hey, hey, you're right, sis. <laughs> hey, Deb, how are you? Um, what happened, Tony? Did you fall? Um, you only have a bad sprain. You didn't break anything. Oh, did you fall? Did you fall? Hi, Denise, how are you? What, hap what happened, uh, Tony? I don't remember. Did you have, were you in an accident? Did you fall? I think I missed, I think I missed something. Okay, so I'm just putting the tape. All you do is pull out enough, and then I turn the ends under, 
And then there's a center piece of tape to hold that down. So the, the tape was just worn out. It was time for new tape. Sorry. I, I usually do this beforehand. But it's not bad for you guys to see that process. It's not bad. So um, we will have fresh tape for a while. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, Doris, it's sister. It's, it's confusing. <laughs> yeah, some people are, some people are confused here, but it's okay. We won't, we won't get into all that because, um, no one wants to know my opinion on those things. Nobody, nobody. Okay. All right. So let's get our little pieces off. Let's put, let's put the body part at the top and then we're going to start going like this, the flower and then this part of the flower. And then we have this part of the body. Here's the hand. And then we have all the little dots, all the little polka dots. I'm gonna get all those off. Can you hear babies? I can hear the babies from in here. I might have to go move them around. Hopefully she's not sitting on them. I can hear them squeaking. I'm going to have to hang on a second. I'm going to have to go see why they're squeaking so loudly. I can hear them in here. I want to make sure she wasn't laying on one. She's not. They're just they're just trying to get situated to nurse. <laughs> uh, occasionally she'll have one behind her and it's like squealing like heck. Okay, and there's the green grass. So this is this is all one project here. You missed something. Glad nothing has broken. Yeah, I fell a month ago and had doctor's appointment this week. Oh wow, that's a long time to wait. Okay, here's the base part. We don't need to paint this part. <laughs> We're definitely going to need a second, a second sheet. So let's see if we can get all of this on there and then we'll put the cute as a bug one on the other one. Okay, so on here, let's take out this part. Let's take this out. Let's take apart the water globe. We are going to paint a new water globe. Maybe we put the water globe on another sheet. Okay, so we have this background and then we have all these little pieces here. All the little pieces. You know, it's a lot easier to paint them all together when you have things that are the same color. So um, we'll have one more after this. We have one for the basket and then um, it has, there's a sign one. So we'll paint a new basket at that point. Okay, there's that. Let's do, we don't need to paint this. That goes on the back of the words. And then this is the water globe. So the only part of this you paint, paint this part, okay? And then this circle part, okay, I'll find a place for that. This part you don't paint. Um, circle part can go up at the top. And then you paint the pieces that are like this. Paint both of those, okay. And then you paint one of the bases, okay. So um, maybe the base can go inside. <laughs> Okay, all right, and then we need one more sheet for all of these. Okay, so for the cutest of bugs, yeah, I probably should have only picked another one project um, or two, <laughs> two projects. Okay, so cute as a bug. I'm going to have to look at my phone to see. I'm going to have to cheat to see what colors I did everything. <laughs> I taped these off, so we can work on this one first but I taped off the, the sections on here to paint them. It was easier that way. Okay, let's see, bodies are red. Okay, so this is red, heads, that's black. Okay, all right, so let's start with this. <laughs> I know, I know, it's good. I, I love this one. I think it's, a, it's really fun. Okay, let's paint this part, but I need to tape it off. So let me get on my phone. I am going to get to my pictures. 
of my project so I can see. See, I have it right here. I have my cheat sheet <laughs> right on my phone. Okay, so I did red at the top, I did black at the bottom. So I'm gonna tape off the center one so that we're only painting the bottom and the top. Okay, so I'm gonna, paint, I'm gonna tape off the center so that I can easily paint this. Oops, almost, almost got it. Okay, so red at the top, black at the bottom. The center will be pink. Hi, Judy Kirk, how are you? Um, Tony, you thought it was just bruised and then it got worse. Oh, yeah, that's that's hard. I know. That's hard. Hi, Lori Walsh, how are you? <laughs> the little squeaks. <laughs> I know, I know. They are so cute. Hi, Tina, how are you? Okay, all right, so red at the top. We're going to use country red. And... Let me get a little palette dish and a few more brushes. Okay, so anything that needs to be red, we'll paint it right now. So the this part of the ladybug is red, and then the word bug is red. So we'll do, and the top one here is red. And red always, red always needs two coats. So we will do our first coat, and then we'll come back and do our second coat. Sometimes it needs three, but we're probably not. Okay, make sure you're going in one direction. And so let's do all of our red stuff. And we'll do we'll do like the little details later, like the feet. But I just paint this whole thing red. And then we'll do the polka dots. Okay, so that's red. And then the word bug is red. Okay, so this is our word stacker. Doing our word stacker first. Because we can. Okay. And then I need a paper towel for all of my paintbrushes over here. How is everybody? How was your day yesterday? Did you guys have a good day? I did. <laughs> Hi, Karen West. How are you? Good morning. Hey, April Walls. <laughs> Judy, I was thinking, I was counting down how many, how many weeks is it till, till craft show set up? Here, let's put some over here. I know it's... <laughs> you're you're my next craft show and I was counting down how many weeks till craft show set up how many weeks do I have to get more stuff done so it, it seems like it's like six seven weeks till set up <laughs> I can't believe it's already May can you believe it's May already okay so black here okay and then I'm going to do everything that's black okay so so the things that are black is this part of the body is black And we'll do the legs and the dots later. And then what else is black? As a, as a is black, okay? And then cute is gonna be pink and the flowers are white. Okay, so let's get some white out here. So we need a little bit of white for the flowers. And then the center of the flowers will be yellow. Okay, so, so white for our little daisies right there. And then cute is pink. The center part is pink also, but we can't do that yet. We have to wait. We have to wait. <gasps> hey, Julie, you're over on on um, YouTube. It It's different colored on my screen. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Um, it's, it's different colored on my, my screen for the for the comments, if you're watching from YouTube, um, it has like your name in red. Um, it has your name in blue if you are watching from Facebook. So I can I was able to go multiple multiple places this morning. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. Okay, let's put a second coat of red. Then we'll dry it, and then we'll do our pink. And guess what? I missed like the bottom corner of this little cutie pie here. Even though, well, that bottom part actually will show. Okay, let me just let me just get that. I'm just gonna do the black one more time while I'm standing up here and I can see everything. Sometimes, sometimes you can't see. Like I missed, I totally missed right there. So country red, cotton candy is the pink, um, black and white. Okay, now as far as black and white. There's, there's a lot of different blacks and whites. I always just say black and white, but I use I use snow white and black black. Okay, one more coat of red, and then we'll dry, and then we'll do the pink, and then we'll move on. We will move on to the next 
um, thing. We'll, we'll come back and do our, our details afterwards. Okay, so one more coat of red. So who has who has stuff going on this weekend? Anyone? I I actually think I need to start cleaning. So so I've got to get I've got to get myself in order again. You know, do you ever just have your house or a, a specific specific room that just gets crazy, just out of control, and you're like, I just got to get this back under control. I need to I need to do some major organizing. I really really do. So I'm not doing my Watts of Love this weekend. It's going to be the next weekend. I just with the puppies, they have taken up so much time. I have not had a chance to do the things that I need to do. Okay, let's dry this, and then we'll, we can tape this off and do the center. So my Watts of Love Talkathon is going to be the next weekend. I will start advertising it. I'm going to have a bunch of fun, fun kits and some projects to purchase. I'll have a combination of things. So, and a couple of auction items. So hopefully, hopefully you'll want to join in on those auction items. And I'll have free gifts too, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a huge deal. <laughs> it always is. It takes up my my whole living room. The problem is, guys, I have those puppies there, so I it's, it might have a lot of interruptions. I might have to take a bunch of breaks. You're going to be traveling. You're going to the traveling version of Broadway's Aladdin. Oh, how fun is that? Okay, really, you'll be in San Diego for a week, starting um, May 23rd. How fun! That will be a lot of fun. Um, and let's see. Oh, hi, Kimberly. <laughs> I, I didn't see you say hi. Um, where are you staying? Where, where are you going to in, um, in San Diego? Are you staying with friends? Or are you staying down at the beach? It's always fun to come and visit. Always. And Cheryl's going, going glamping. <laughs> I love that. I, I love your setup. You have a great trailer. Oops, I missed like the corner there. Um, let me just get that really quick. I missed right there. There is nothing wrong with glamping. Honestly, there isn't, there's nothing wrong with glamping. <laughs> hey, um, some of us just need to have all of those things, right? Some of us need to have all the good stuff when you camp. There's, there's nothing wrong with having a nice trailer and all the things. All the comforts of home. <laughs> you deserve it. Staying with family. They're close to SDSU. Oh, that's not that far from me. That is like 20 minutes from me. Maybe I can see you. Yeah, maybe I can see you. That would be great. Um, Deb says, after your doctor's appointment, I have to clean up and organize the family room. I have two more 3D printers coming today and no place to put them. Oh my goodness. How many does that make for you guys? I know you guys are so busy. It's a cray cray, cray cray life for you guys right now. <laughs> you just need a second house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Carol says, your great grandson's first birthday party, stopping um, to visit brother and seeing your other grandkids. Oh, how fun is that? Hi, Lori Tanner Dare. How are you? Okay, we're going to paint this pink and then we're going to move on to the next board. Okay, so we're doing several things. If you're just hopping on, we're, this is our monthly kit and it's lady bit, ladybug themed. So this is our May monthly craft kit that I have for you guys. It is $40 for the kit. If you're brand new and you haven't done any kits, then you also have to purchase the globe and the basket. We use those each month. Okay, so so that was something that in January, that was a little free gift that I gave to everybody. But um, if you're brand new, you just have to purchase that. Okay, let's dry this. I think I need a second coat on the pink. Uh, will you have a show that weekend? I don't have a craft show that weekend. No, my next craft show is... Um, the weekend of June 22nd, 22nd ish. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Around the 22nd. Okay, maybe we should do the black dots so they can dry. Maybe we should. So let's do that. Yeah, my next one is until June. I don't have a craft show. Um, Deb says currently have eight, two more arriving today and another arriving tomorrow. Oh my goodness, you are so blessed. That is amazing. I know it takes a long time to 3D print things. I know that. So if you're if you're busy, you need to have more. So you guys, a funny thing happened. 
and Judy, if you're still on. Um, <laughs> so Judy, do you remember the house over there that you went to look at that had the barn and we're like, oh, this would be perfect. And um, we could use it for a craft show. Do you remember that house? It is up for sale again. Well, it's going on the market. It's going on the market this weekend. <laughs> I have a friend. I have a friend that is a realtor and we were chatting the other night and and it just and she had just um she had just got an offer on a house over here in Santee on Halburns and I was like that's so awesome that's so cool and that just made me think hey Darlene go back and look and see if that other house is for sale again because I keep the listing I keep the Zillow listing and it's it's a house that is close by me um, it's actually close to Judy, not that far, like an exit away or something like that. And it is a large, large house. Um, it's not huge, but the house, the house um, is like four bedrooms. This, this, this is three bedrooms. Anyways, the house, the house is decent sized. It's 2,000 something square feet. My house here is 1,300 square feet, but it has a barn that they use for events. They use for weddings. It has a horse arena that they used, you could use it for horses or use it for parking. They use it for parking and it would save me money instead of renting the church because every time I rent the church, it's $5,000 to rent the church. Okay. Just putting that out there. It's a lot. It's a lot to rent the church and doing the craft shows there with, with all my crafters. I, I'm not making, I'm not making the money I should be making because the rent is so high. So anyways, anyways, guys. Um, the house that I really loved is up for sale again. I'm like, oh, it's like the worst timing because there's no way I could get my house ready and put it on the market and sell it with having puppies here. I'm like, I, I'm two months down the road from being able to do anything. Um, but they're charging a lot. So the, ho the, house is, the house is going on the market for $200,000 more than what it sold for last time. And that's it, that is way over what it should be it's probably not going to appraise for that i thought that is like a ridiculous amount um i'm just going to wait it out <laughs> i'm not going to do anything i asked my friend if she could um sh just keep an eye on it for me i said i said i really like this one can you just keep an eye on it for me because when it doesn't sell and it goes into foreclosure that's when i'm going to snap it up <laughs> i would even sell my cabin to purchase that because I could have my little, I could have my little laser business out there. That's what I, that got me thinking about that. You need a place like that, Debbie, with a little barn. So you can use that for your shop. <laughs> but I thought that would be perfect. So, so I'm keeping an eye on the place. They're going to be taking new pictures. They're, they have pictures of the outside because they have the pictures from the last person. Um, but they don't have pictures of the current inside. You know, everybody's furniture looks different inside places before it looked fabulous. Who knows, who knows what a year, it's been a year. It's only been a year. And I said, what's wrong with it? And she said, well, sometimes people sell because of a divorce. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to set that to the side. Oops. I almost dropped it. And we're going to let that dry. All right. Next. But that would be that would be so much fun to have a place like that. I would love that. Oh, I think I need to have another color for this. Did I do white? I got to I got to look at my cheat sheet. <laughs> You're hoping to be able to go look at Glowforge this weekend. Um oh, at that Glowforge. Um you do need a building. Yeah. You know what? I told my husband I said, "Oh, I did it white." Okay. Um then I wouldn't have it in the living room. <laughs> You know, because I over sometimes things go into the living room like boxes of boxes of supplies, <laughs> and he's like, I don't think he believes that I would actually that I would actually adhere to that. Okay, so I need to do the backgrounds on these. So red. Okay, so the part that's going to show, um, the body's right here. Okay, the face, the top part. The only part on here I need to paint is red. Okay, so I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint the red on the wings, and I will paint this bottom part. I'll paint that red. Maybe I should paint it black. I probably should paint it black. Okay, so let's paint, paint anything that's red. I'm just going to stand up. I don't need to be in the corners for this because, guys, there's just too much going on. There's too much going on. Too much. So, yeah, it would be it would be nice. Um, the house is like $1,300,000. $1, <laughs> ah! 
one million dollar three one million three hundred thousand dollars that's a lot that's a that's a house that yeah <laughs> i know okay so let's paint the red on here also that's gonna show okay and then any other red i think that's it i don't think there's any other red um on here that's it that's it um happy thursday karen so if anybody just has a spare million sitting around i would love to <laughs> love to help me out <laughs> okay let's do all the black yeah well here's the thing is that you know i, ha I have friends that have inherited so much money from people in their lives when they pass and and I'm like you know what I have nobody that has money that's gonna die and give me money <laughs> I have to work I have to figure it out on my own all the time San Diego is so so expensive and property tax absolutely absolutely so um Deb says you're in the formal dining room family room kitchen bedroom is taking over your house yeah it does it can do that when you have a small business that succeeds like yours has that fast that's grown that fast it's hard growing pains are real growing pains are real for small businesses I totally get it I do our laser room was a necessity I had stuff on the back patio we had it we had enclosed the back patio so doing all the black stuff um and and that wasn't enough so we built the laser room and then it it, it consistently overflows it does it overflows to the living room Every day I am I have stuff in a little wagon that goes back and forth because before hubby gets home I have to have stuff out of the living room. But when I paint stuff like this, all my little samples are in the living room and on the bar and on the on the TV, like the TV console thingy madiggy. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's a hard life, you know. Being a crafter <laughs> will take over everything. Okay, so the body is all black and the little feeties and all the little spots are black. Yeah, all the little spots are black. Okay, so that's why I said this is pretty easy to just paint the whole thing. And then I do need to paint, I do need to paint this. So I am thinking that I should do white on here and then, should I do white? Um, the top part I'll do gray. So am I doing that the right color? Oh yeah, cause this is going to, this will be white. We'll just do this white and then I'll do gray for the I'll do gray for the the detail part oh yeah okay so this that shows I'm trying to think one two three yeah that part shows that's on top so I don't need to do and this is covered so I can I can go ahead and do this I'll do gray for the details so yeah hi Lucia how are you so the property taxes on that place is thirteen thousand dollars it's a lot I know I already looked at everything, <laughs> but my friend is on it. She's like, as soon as the pictures post, then I'll let you know. <laughs> and she's like, I'm going to talk to the realtor and find out what the story is, you know, because most of the realtors are friends, you know, they go to the little events to the chamber of commerce events. They know each other. They work with each other. Um, most of them have been friends in the Valley here in, in the County and, you know, they, they have to work together in order to have, be successful. You kind of have to network with other ones. And you'll probably also know the ones that you don't want to work with. <laughs> okay, what's my next color? Let's do, let's do the, let's do the gray on that. I didn't pull out gray. Let me get gray. Um, I have slate gray right here. Happy Thursday. I know I had to look at my calendar because it goes by so fast. I, I never know what day of the week it is. <laughs> Living alone, I can spread out sometimes, but you get mad at yourself because every service gets covered. Yes, you know, it's hard. It is a hard thing. I try very hard to make sure everything's cleaned up before hubby gets home. There, There's an hour between when Tara leaves and when hubby gets home. So I have an hour to get my area completely cleaned up so that he doesn't have to live with the mess <laughs> because he doesn't understand. And he's been really good about cleaning, cleaning the garage, cleaning my shelves. He's like, I'll help you with stuff. You know, you just need to tell me what stuff can be tossed, what stuff needs to be organized, what needs to be brought in the house. So he's willing to help me with all of that. You know, it's got to be hard for him. 
<laughs> Be, being the being the husband of a crafter oh my gosh you put up with a lot but his his garage used to be just crazy um stuff everywhere but he he's at the point in his life sometimes people get at that point where they want everything to be organized that's what he's doing he's at that point where organization is what he wants in his life <laughs> so i'm the one that has to has to deal with that. I have to get organized too. Okay, so white for that. And then my flowers, my little flowers is, this is white. And, oh, do you hear the babies? Okay, these flowers are yellow because of the fact that the background's white. So that flower is yellow. I need to get a little yellow out. I hear the babies. Boy, they're getting vocal. They are so vocal. They will tell you when they're when they're uncomfortable, when they want their mommy. Their eyes will be opening next week. I can't wait. <laughs> Cannot wait. Okay, let's just start at the top. Hauser light green and then warm beige. This is all Hauser light green. Oh, this is going to be yellow also. Center of this flower is yellow. Hauser light green. Um, white for this. Okay, we could do that. Let's do the white. White for this. So be really careful when you're doing around the words. You don't want to, do I need to make it smaller? Let me just, sorry, go a little bit smaller for you guys. So when you're going around the words, just kind of go over the top. Just really careful, like you're skimming the surface. <laughs> I just kind of go sideways and don't push very hard. Okay, so there we go. White usually needs two coats, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. If we can just make it kind of look whitewashed, that would be nice. Your ex used to help with your crafts. He's, he's so needle point and paint. Wow, that's awesome. That is so cool. Yes, there's a lot of husbands that help. I love that. I might be a little jealous of it, but also I love my alone time. I do. I love my alone time. Hi, Melanie. How are you? Happy Thursday. Hope you are doing well. Oops, I just dropped my Hauser Light Green. Am I red? <laughs> Hang on a second. It just jumped. It just jumped. Okay, so I'm going to grab another palette dish for this. I I think it's great that men, if men want to help, I think that is wonderful. But like I said, I do like to have my own space. <laughs> I love just being able to craft in, in absolute silence. It's just, it's just nice. <laughs> So, um, my daughter-in-law and my son are going to be opening up a new business. So we'll see how all that goes for them. They're going to be opening up like a little small little machine shop in their garage. Something that my son has, oh, my older son has always wanted to do. Okay, green up here. So this is Hauser light green. All the colors, guys. We do have to ink everything. That's that's gonna take time and then gluing. It's a, it's a big project. I know. I knew it was. <laughs> okay, now we need to do faces. Now, I'm debating on this. I did it in pink before. Should I do it in pink again? The hey, la ladybug. I probably should. Um, I just used our cotton candy. Let me do that really quick. Then we have the faces and then we'll dry and we'll ink everything yeah so this is if you if you didn't know this is the monthly kit i can put the link there so if you haven't got it yet that's okay guys um you can always go back and get the other monthly kits they will be available we're not going to shut it off we're not going to say oh we're only cutting x amount um nope we're going to we're going to actually keep those in there um you would have kept it just for that <laughs> yes you're so funny karen cheryl says i was surprised at how many men were at pinners oh that's nice your husband wouldn't go there in a million years oh yeah no i get it i totally get that my husband that does not like to go and help at craft shows but i see there's a lot of there's a lot of husbands that go to the craft shows that i do and they help their wives with stuff. They, they'll, they'll hold the basket. <laughs> they'll help them pick out stuff. Like Sue's husband is really good at helping pick out stuff. Um, he encourages her to get things. 
which is great. You know, I, I love that. I love when husbands are involved in their their wife's hobbies. Okay, I'm going to drop the link for this kit in here in the comments for you guys. So let me just get back to my to my live. There we go. I'm going to drop it right here. So if you need to grab it, you can. Um, you can always go to my go to my website at any point and get that, or you can ask me. <laughs> okay, centers of of the the flower. Let me get a little bit more white, and then I need to do the face. <laughs> here. Um, yours wouldn't either. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because I would go to the fishing shows with my husband and walk around and see the boats. And I would go to to the gun shows with my husband and walk around and see everything. But he doesn't want to go to the craft shows with me. He used to go to Oktoberfest. That's different because he could go have a hamburger or a beer. <laughs> he, used, he used to do that. But um, as far as going to just a craft show now, that, he would be out. <laughs> So there are men, there are men that are really creative though. There are some men that just are, it's, it's not, it's not, um, I'm not going to say it's the, not the norm. It's the average, probably mo most, most are women. Okay. I'm going to just cut this, the end of the box. <laughs> yeah. But I'm always surprised at my craft shows how many how many men are shopping with their their wives. I think it's great. I think it's great they have that support. Ooh, let me make sure. Ah, uh, that's a, that's not the right color. This is coral cloud. <laughs> it's okay. So I use warm beige. This one's just gonna be. It's just a little more warm. <laughs> it's a little more more pinkish. It's okay. This is my. This is actually my pig color. But you know what? It's okay. We're not going to cry. We've already got it. So just going sideways on that face so that you don't fill in the eyes and the mouth area. And there's the little nose. Okay, let's dry and then let's start inking stuff. I think that's I think that's it. Um, anything else need a second coat? I don't think so. Let me look and let's... Your husband helps it. you set up the shows. That's nice. So my husband helps me tear down the shows. So he used to help pack... Stuff, but now there's there's not that much for him to help pack but when I did ornaments I would just say okay take down this section and put it in this box because when we did ornaments it was thousands and thousands of ornaments it was a lot I needed help now I just need help putting stuff back in the trailer which I can do it myself but it's hard at the end of the show it is a, it's you're tired you you are grateful you're grateful to have help <laughs> at least I am I am always grateful to have helpers with anything. I will take it. I, if I have a friend that offers, I'm going to take it. Sue, Sue offers to come and help me. I, I don't always need need her, but I, I love her company. So I'll take it if she offers. Do you have any recommendations on things to see or do in San Diego? Yes, absolutely. There's, there's so many things to go and see. Um, Old Town is one. Old Town's fun. There, there's actually, um, there is a the Whaley House is, is haunted there. So in Old Town, we went to the Whaley House. It has a lot of history. So it actually is haunted. And people do see and hear things. I think when my kids were little that we went there and we were able to see one of the ghosts. That's fun in Old Town. And there's um, there's a lot of places for eating um, like Mexican food. Re real good. Oh, guess what? So I have to paint this because the top part's going to show. Um, real good Mexican food there in Old Town. And then Seaport Village is, is a great place to go. Let me get some more black paint. Forgot I have to paint I have to paint that part. So Seaport Village is great. And then let me dry this really quick. It has lots of cute little shops and it's right there at the ocean. And there's a really great place for getting um, fish tacos. If you guys love fish tacos or fresh seafood, Mitch's is the best for that. I would definitely do that. And I would definitely make sure you get up early one day and go to the, see the tide pools. The tide pools are are pretty amazing in La Jolla, in that area. So um, yeah, you can go down there and you can see all the little sea life when the, when the tide is low. That's always fun. And then the sun sets on the beach. Mission Beach is fun. There's a roller coaster. There is so much to see. 
<laughs> so, so much. I'll think of some things and I'll send it your way. I will. Um, because there's there's just tons and tons of places. Of course, SeaWorld is there if you like that type of thing. That's always fun if you have kiddos. And even if you don't, I just love the little shows. I think the shows are great. Okay, I'm just inking the edges here. Oh, I just got a, I just got a message that Sophie, Sophie's um her tracker is almost is low, almost out of battery. I love that I get that. So I I have tracking on my animals now. Now that everything that happened with with Chloe and no, we don't have any more leads or anything on Chloe. We're just we're just waiting. Oh, guess what? The whole head. I needed to do the whole head on this because guess what? The whole head is going to show. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. That's just going to go on right. Nope. I'm going to do even more. I don't remember how I did this. There we go. Okay. Go all the way to the edge. Sorry. You'll probably find that out too when you're painting. Out. Oh yeah. I was supposed to paint that. Okay. And then the nose. I... So I'm gonna, I need to do cheekies on these guys. So we'll do cheeks. I forgot. Forgot to do cheekies. I'm just doing a little bit on the nose. Hi, Janie. How are you? Just finished making a crochet ladybug purse for your granddaughter. How fun is that? Oh, my gosh. Ladybugs are popular. Okay, we have all these. I'm not going to ink those. Those are, their, are the spots. And I'm just going to put them over here. And we will put them on when it's time to glue. Okay, but right now we're just getting all of the inking done. Ladybugs are always popular. And they're always fun for girls. I'm sure that boys love ladybugs too. But little girls... So I would love to see that cute little ladybug purse. I hope you're posting it. Are you posting it on your Instagram? And I have, to, you know what? I got too much on the corner of this. So I'm going to take a Clark wipe and I'm going to just wipe off the corner if I can get it out. <laughs> I don't need two. Okay, so if you make a mistake with your ink, just take a Clark wipe and you can, you can wipe that off. Okay, and then I'll dry it with my hand. And then I can try again. So don't worry if you get too much. It's okay. You can fix it. It is fixable. <laughs> Almost everything in life is. Almost everything. Okay, there's that. So I do need to do cheeks. We'll do that in a minute. Here's my little, here's my little flowers. Okay. And then we are going to, we're going to ink the edges on this. This is our other little um, globe that I made. Different color. Gonna ink the edges there. Gonna ink the edges on here. We're just trying to get everything off the board. Okay. And then we'll start gluing. So inking everything as we go, it's easier to do that if you just kind of ink it as you go and kind of assemble it. So we'll get all these pieces and then we'll, we could even start gluing this one together. Maybe we should do that. We'll glue this one together and then we'll, we'll ink the next one. I'm inking this part of it. Okay, and then let's do cheekies really quick. We need cheeks on here, and we're going to do a little bit of highlight on here. This assembles like this. This goes together. Okay, this is numbered, so it says number one. This one's number two. This is number three. This is number three goes down there and then these go over that just like that so it all glues together like that so there's your globe and then this is the base okay so let me set that just to the side for a moment let's do cheekies so I need a little thing I need two different things it's on your face but awesome I'll have to take a look and see how fun okay so there's little daubers and we're going to use our wild berry Okay, so just need a tiny, tiny bit, guys. So wild berry, and we're gonna grab a paper towel, and we're going to get our little dauber, put it into the paint, and then you're gonna tap, 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 and twist at the same time, get some of that off of there, okay? And then we're gonna do cheekies, okay? So that's the larger size one. I'm just gonna twist, okay? And then I also want to put some up here. I might have got that one a little bit high, like into the eye. That's okay. I'm just putting some at the top, OK? 
Okay, so I'm putting some on the top. And then we're going to set that up there. And then I'm going to do some on the nose. And then I'm going to grab the smaller one. Okay, so I need the smaller one. This is the smaller size. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, tap, tap, tap. Can you hear the babies? They sure are vocal. <laughs> and, and Sophie's where she's jumping out when she needs to, which is great. She jumps out. If she needs to go potty, she just jumps out. Okay, there's that. We're going to, I'm going to put just a little bit on the nose and on the forehead. And then let's dry those. Let's dry those things and we'll start assembling this part of it. And then we'll, we'll do that. Okay, um, where did you get the daubers? The daubers are from Michael's. And they're just, they're just, um, the brand is Craft Smart. It's a Michael's brand. And they come in groups. There's usually two of the larger ones and three of the small ones. They're over where the stencils are in that aisle where the paint and stencils are at. Okay, let me just dry the cheekies really quick. And then we're going to assemble this so that it can be drying. Okay, so there's lots, there's lots of fun things on here. Let me get my glue. We'll use the tiny glue for the tiny things. Boy, those babies are vocal. <laughs> They, they make sure that mama knows that they're not happy when when she's not right there nursing them. They're they are not happy campers. <laughs> oh, guess what? This does not get glued on there. Sorry. This is separate. Do not glue that on there because it doesn't get glued on there. The only thing that gets glued on there are those flowers. Never mind. Never mind because this just slides down in. Okay. Pretend I didn't do that. Okay, so there's that layer. This is just a layer. Okay, I'm going to glue this all together. Whew! You know, it's a hot mess Thursday. <laughs> it is a, I'm glad that I remembered as I'm, as I'm going to glue, put that on there. I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't get on there. Okay, and somehow there's something right there. I don't know what it is. Let me, let me just get my black. Let me just... Oh, that's the ink. That's the, that's what it is. It's ink. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I just, sometimes I just do the wrong thing. There's the face. Cute little face. And the little hands. <coughs> Sorry. Got this weird little cough thing going this morning. There's a hand. And here's the leaf. Thing. It's just all the dust, all the dust at night. <laughs> Anybody have that? Like a, like a morning cough where you just got to get it all out of your lungs? I don't know. Don't know what, I don't know what to think about it. Okay, I'm going to use the tiny, tiny glue, the glitter glue, because it has the tiny thing. Interesting, last month's kit was the birdhouse you glued in the circles. Oh, you did? Um, yeah, it's harder to put it, it's hard to put it on there. Yeah, if, if you glue it onto there. You can still get it in and out of the water globe, but it's but it's more difficult. I I learned that. Okay, so here's all the little dots. It's it's just more of a struggle to get it in and out of the water globe. That's all. It's not a deal breaker. <laughs> I th I think a lot of people probably do glue it on there because they think that it needs to be on there, but um, don't stress. No stress. There's no crying in crafting. <laughs> all right, there's all the little spots. So now we can set that to the side. Okay, so, oh, no, need the nose. Need the nose. <laughs> I'm like, he's missing something. Come on. All right, don't need that much though. Okay, and then we're gonna glue our water globe together. So let me just get all of this lined up and Okay, look at how cute he is. He's so cute. That's going to go here. That's going to go with this. We're just going to set this aside. We're going to glue our water glue together. You did it to both kids. Yeah, it's harder to put it in. For sure. You have you have renov a renovation from the oh, from the other apartments. Yeah, that's not a good thing. That is not good. It does happen though. The the drywall dust. Ooh. A lot of people in construction that do drywall all the time, they end up getting, um, getting like lung disease from being around it so much. 
because it should not be breathed in. It is not good for your lungs to breathe that in. Okay, I'm trying to be really careful along there. I'm going to just smooth it out with my finger, glue these layers together, <laughs> and not have a mess in there because you don't want glue to be in here and have this be glued in your, your piece to go in there when it's time. I usually will run a little Q-tip in there so that I make sure that that is not going to um, have my little piece stick to that, okay? So there's that, here's the next layer. So one, two, three, there's three layers. Actually there's four, but they don't put a number on the fourth one because the fourth one, um, it will show. So you don't want a number on the fourth one. All right, so a little bit of glue. Okay, and then this goes right up here at the top, right like that. Okay, and then we glue this, the base part together. Hi, Daylene, how are you? Happy Thursday. We're doing our cute little not good because you already have a chronic cough yeah it's not a good thing it's it's not it's not great for people that have asthma to be around all of that okay this is number three we're doing our little ladybug kit okay and i kept myself out of the corner because there is so much going on here today guys darlene did not need to be up in the corner <laughs> because there's just way too much way too much okay i like you to be able to see everything i loved it when i was learning how to do chalking and other crafts, I love to be able to see a full view of everything. Okay, there's all of that. Perfect. Okay, so we have a, a, a snow globe. And then this will get glued into here. Okay, so that'll get glued in there in a moment. Okay, let's just set this to this side. So, so this is what we have done so far. Okay, now let's continue to... Where's my lid? We'll continue to ink our next project, our next one. Okay, so we have, let's get the base part. Here's, here's the body part, and we're just going to ink the edges. If you don't want to ink the edges, that is absolutely fine. You do not have to, or if you want to shade it with a, um, a paintbrush. But I like to do it the easy way. <laughs> I'm all about easy, guys. When, when it comes to creating, if you can skip a few of the steps by doing it like this, that rather than getting out a paintbrush and having to do it that way. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do it easy. Oh, that was Stubby. Did you hear him? He's like telling the girls, stay away. It's probably Annie. Annie likes to kind of antagonize him. I don't know why. He doesn't he does not like Annie. <laughs> he does not like her. He, tol he tolerates everybody else, but him and Annie, um, probably like, you know how some siblings, you, if you had a lot of siblings growing up, I, I didn't, I just had my, my sisters, um, but if you had a lot of siblings, there's probably one that you didn't get along with. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Here's the hands. That would be his sibling that he doesn't get along with is Annie. Yep, we still have to do the word stacker. So if you guys have to go and come back, you always can. Okay, so the replays are always here and I upload them to YouTube also. So um, they're, they're in both places. Okay, and we got grass that's going to be behind him or her. Ladybug her. I This one kind of looks like a boy. There's boy ladybugs. There's girl ladybugs, right? Just because it says lady doesn't mean it's a lady, right? <laughs> Ladybugs can be boys. Okay, and then the spots. And then we can take this board away. Okay, and we still have to do the word stacker. So we still have a few more things. Okay, there's the little spots. Okay, let's do this. And I think that I should use my other glue because it's going to set up more quickly and I can, I'll be able to stand this guy up. Okay, so I'm gonna use this other glue, the, the art glitter glue. Even It doesn't have glitter in it, that's just the name. <laughs> I just have to make sure everything's lined up. This is one of those that you can't, you cannot mess it up. You lost connection when you started talking about places to go. Oh, okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll get with you, I'll give you a list. Okay, so um, places to go here to see 
Old Town is one. The Whaley House is there. So Whaley House is the haunted house. It's it's the most haunted it's it's the most haunted house in I think on the West Coast. I think that's their claim to fame. So there's many people that see ghosts there. You can, I I felt spirits there. You know, I, I get that feeling sometimes. I felt spirits there. It's kind of cool. There's a lot. There's a place there that they're sitting there making tortillas right out front. That's kind of fun. Um, Seaport Village. Mitch's, Mitch's is a good place for fish tacos. Going and seeing the tide pools. SeaWorld. There's great malls if you like to shop. There's a lot of really good malls. There's Mission Beach. Where you can go and watch watch the sunset and go on the roller coaster, the old roller coaster. There's um, SeaWorld right there. The zoo is fantastic if you like zoos. Their zoo is fabulous. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on each of these so I can easily do these. All its little spots. Okay, so you don't need a lot, really. Um, that's the funny thing, you know, sometimes people put way too much glue. You don't need a lot with these. So, I don't, you know, it's funny because I live here. I don't go out and do a lot until we have people visit. <laughs> and then it's like, oh yeah, what is there to do? Um, yeah, a lot of times the people that actually live in those places, they don't go and do all the things because, you know, there's always a lot of people and... Um, we don't do the tourist thing until we have somebody in coming to visit. Okay, there's that. His nose is a little crooked. Um, we can call them a gentleman bug. There you go. <laughs> a gentleman bug. That's funny. Hi, Nyla. How are you? That, that's funny. A gentleman bug. Yes. <laughs> Definitely can call it that. Okay, there's our little flower. We're getting there. So, so when you get your kit, you can come back and watch the replays. And paint along that's always a good thing to do if you have questions about something or it also comes with a little sheet of paper that tells you the colors of paint that I used and um, it has a picture there's a second sheet that has a picture of each of the projects so it's easy for you to look at it and know how it was put together okay so then this is going to go right in here so the parts that I need to glue put glue on are the stem, this part, that part. Okay. All right, so I am gonna do it. My, do my dogs are rambunctious, I can hear them. Okay, and then, then this goes behind. Okay, so that goes behind. Part of, part of that's not going to show. Let's see. You know what? I'm probably going to end up... But it, but it dries clear. Okay, so no big deal. It actually dries clear. It's going to go right down there at the bottom. Right, like that. I need to put something under that. I need a little piece of wood to go under that. Let's put this here for now until we need it so it can dry. Okay, so that goes like that. And then the, we'll, we'll put it in the base in a minute. It'll be dry by the time that we get the next part done. Okay, so, and let's go back to this. We can glue the base on this now. Let's go ahead and we'll use this and glue this base in. All right, there we go. Okay, so that way it can be drying. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring in our other board and get the pieces off and we can ink it. So here's our other board and all these little, this was our very first one that we did and we need to ink everything, but not the, I don't ink the words. Okay. And I don't, these flowers are tiny. You probably won't ink those. There's not a ton of inking on this, but you do want to ink um, the between the blocks there. Okay. So I know several of you guys have already purchased this. This is brand new. This is the new monthly kit. It will be available for a long time. Don't worry if you can't get it right away. I always tell people, don't stress because they're like, oh, I can't get it this month. That's okay. You can always catch up. You can always catch up. You don't have to get it every single month. 
there's times when people will say, oh, I'm just starting and they'll buy all of them. So they'll go all the way back to the very first one in January. The January one was a um, Valentine's one. So we recently had somebody that bought, that bought like four months worth. And, you know, that's okay. That's okay to do that. You don't have to get it right then. Okay, so I just I just want to stress that it's not going away. Um, we cut them. We cut them as we get the orders. Okay, so so um, we don't have these just sitting there. Usually at the beginning of the month, I'll have about twenty of these ready to go. And I didn't do that this month because I wasn't sure how you would like these. If <laughs> I was kind of like, um, uh, are they going to like the ladybugs? Are they not going to like the ladybugs? But I, but we have, we've had a bunch of orders, so I got all those done. Okay, let me go ahead and do the head part, and then we're going to glue the, all this together. And we'll just use this other glue that glues fast. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love it too. I just, so this is drying, getting ready for this. So, um, let me make sure there's no glue in there. I don't want it. I don't want it to stick in there forever. You want to be able to get it out. Okay. So the way this goes together, guys, is this part fits in first. Okay. So that fits in first, and then you slide the other part in. So, um, and then this slides at the bottom. There's like a little notch there. Okay. So just get it lined up and wiggle it in, and then this notch here, this notch goes right in there. So, so it's easier to do that in parts, and then that's just going to stand. Isn't it so cute? Okay, let's let's start gluing this on. I'm gonna stand up so I can see. I'm gonna use my little glue so it'll dry right away. I might start using this more and more because I'm actually really I'm liking the fact that it's it's dry. There's many times when I show you guys something and it slips <laughs> and so it's misaligned and I don't notice. And that's never fun. That's never fun. Cute as a bug. Okay, and then one of the little flowers is going to go over here in the corner. Oops, I guess right there. <laughs> I guess right there. And then a ladybug is going to go right here. Like that. And then here's the bottom part. I could have glued it. I could have glued that together first. Either way. And then as a cute as a bug. So this one I just kind of made myself. <laughs> this is not a design out there. Some people, it's, it's so funny, guys. Here's what happened to me with last month's kit, the one with the bear and the honey. Okay, so I, ha I had a combination of things last month. Some of it I designed on my own, and some of it was a combination of other people's files that I just took this and I took that. So here's something funny that happened. Um, several people... And you might be on here right now. I just thought it was so funny that they liked it so much, but but they are their laser cutters. They they do their own thing. So they don't want to buy the kit because they could cut it themselves, but they can't because everything that I made last month, pretty much, pretty much all the files I made last month, I tweaked them, I changed them. <laughs> I made them to be what I wanted them to be. And so, so one person posted, they posted on um, a Facebook page of one of the designers that I'd used part of her stuff. And they're like, where's this file at? I can't find this file. And the lady's like, um, part of that's my file. I hope they're not selling it. And there's like, no, she's selling it as a kit. And they're like, oh, okay. And they're like, but we want one like that. And the, and the designer said, I would never copy somebody else's um, file. Oh, I need eyes on my ladybug. Guys, why didn't you tell me? I need eyes on my ladybug. She goes, I would ne never copy exactly what they're doing um, because that's wrong. You know, she didn't, she want to copy my kit that I'm making, but, but what she did do, <laughs> she made it very, very, very similar. So, so she made, she made an insert for the basket that was the honey bear and the bees. She made it very similar to what I made. <laughs> And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It's very similar. Because because so many people were like, I really like this. I want this. And she's like, but that's not my file. <laughs> and that's somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of interesting. Okay, so I'm going to do white for the eyes. And then I will go in and I'll put a little black dot. Okay, so I totally forgot to do the eyeballs. 
<laughs> Thank you so much, Donnie and Virginia. How are you guys? Um, yeah, art glitter glue. Sorry. You saw you could order the, the glue with a middle metal tip. Yes, I saw I have the metal tip. I do have that. So, um, but I'm just kind of trying it out. I'm kind of really liking it because it's not moving on me and it doesn't smell. Yeah, it doesn't smell. So that's a good thing. I love ladybugs too. <laughs> we need to get this dry though. Darn it. Darn thing. Forgot to do the, the eyeballs. It's okay. You don't want to hit it with the heat gun too much because then those eyeballs will pop up and there'll be like a point on them. So I'm trying to kind of go back and forth. I need to put a little black dot in there. <laughs> Cute as a bug. Okay, I'm going to use the other end of my stylus and get just a tiny bit of the black and we'll just go on this side so that it looks like a black eyeball in the center. There we go. All right, now let me just try that really fast because we do have to turn this over to put the thing on the back. This is a long project. Sorry, guys. It's almost 8 o'clock. Doing good. You plan your ideas ahead. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. I try to plan everything. <laughs> I try to plan all my stuff. It's really hard sometimes. Okay, I think that's good. I think we're good. Okay. Um. All right, what did I need? Oh, I took this little thing here. And this, this is going to go on the back. This is going to help this stand. And then we can glue this in here right now. So we can glue this on here. So we'll glue this on here. So this stays in the base. Okay. So it just goes right in that base. And I usually will reinforce on the back. So I'll usually go with a bead of hot glue on the back side. I, I can do that later so that it's... Um, it helps it. I'll just plug that glue gun in right now so I can do that when I'm all done. <laughs> I just like it to be reinforced. All right. So there's the glue gun. All right. And okay. So now, now that base is on there. Okay. I'm just going to set it right there for a second. Stay. You need to stay in. It may have to keep it standing. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over, and then this piece is going to go on here. So I just I just have it up like about a quarter of an inch. Okay, um, best place to be proactive and, and <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, exactly. I know. Like I I pre painted all this. My this is my monthly kit, so I pre painted all of it on the weekend. So I have everything already painted. A sample. And then, um, then I go back and I demo it, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure everything worked. Okay. So that goes there and it's just like a quarter of an inch up and then you put this in here. Okay. So that just goes in there and then that's going to, that's going to make it stand. Okay. And then you can kind of adjust that if you don't want it to be so, so, um, far down, like it seems like it's leaning back a lot. I'm just going to slide it down just a little bit. And there's some glue at the bottom. I'm going to take a, a little Clorox wipe and I'm going to wipe off that glue that, that oozed out. Just get that out of there. And then I think we're done guys. I'm going to pop you up to myself. You have eight crafts made so far this week. That is awesome. So cool. I, I need to do more because I have my craft show coming up. <laughs> I have a craft show in June, so I'm, I'm getting ready for that. Here we go. This is what we made today. We have three projects today. And then we have two more things that go with this, with this um, kit. Okay. So we made two the other day. This kit actually has seven things with it. Isn't that cute? Cute as a bug. Ah, I love it. Love, love, love it. Your great granddaughter um, told you you had to get this one. Oh, she loves ladybugs. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, give you a little bit closer look at that. I think I go over. I'm looking at my camera. Go the opposite way that you think you need to go, Darlene. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. I love you guys. Hope you have a fabulous Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday already. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.